It's been an incredible experience, really unlike any conference I've ever been to. I have worked on the institutional side of things for a while, but this is not a conference. This is a hackathon and really getting to meet the community is pretty special. How do I feel about hackathons? I like the spirit. It's um, a little bit exhausting, but uh, it's fun. We are always scared, like, I don't know enough. I, I still think I don't know enough on the ecosystem. So I would say, come and just try it. And don't be scared, because you would probably know way more than you believe. The energy here in Lisbon seems like people have a lot more blockchain knowledge and have a little more experience. And so we have people coming in and asking us questions that seem like they're starting from like a higher level of learning, which is also really cool to see as well. Lisbon is interesting because there's a strong uh, community, especially builders and, and people who are actually contributing actively into the space. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to um, actually be here around everyone. I moved here actually a couple months ago because everyone in crypto seemed to be either in Williamsburg or in Lisbon. And the energy here is amazing, especially at the event here. Everyone is working on something exciting. Best thing for first time hackers is drink from the fire hose. There's so much good information at hackathons. Be all in on learning. Be around people, go see the sponsors, go read the docs, go do all the things, because hackathons are one of the best ways you can possibly learn. Unfortunately, in the last years, we had so many projects without the, the bases, without the groundwork needed. And if they had just that little support, just that little knowledge that they were missing, I know Web3 ecosystems would be much, much better than it is nowadays. The most important thing is to build something for you to learn as much as possible. You don't have to build the most amazing product of all time, like do something crazy. My favorite part is the building part for sure. Working with developers one-on-one, -on -one, getting them to think of new possibilities and new ideas. If you're a UX designer or a UI designer, Web3 space needs a lot of your skills. Be confident on your team and try to make the best you can. Get something working, submit it early, refine it after that, and then um, again, you're here to have fun, so just enjoy it. Sleep before you get here, because <laughs> you're probably not going to do a lot of that. Try to interact with as many of the teams at the booths, whoever's present, get familiar with people and just be ready to have three days of incredible fun. I think Ethereum is the only L1 platform that can basically onboard the whole world to L2s, right? And be like resilient enough and have enough research brain power to really carry like the whole world on blockchain. So many people have been hacking for two days, right? Or almost three days. If that isn't a testament to like uh, uh, the excitement in Web3. So there's only more to do. And I think it's only getting better and better. I thought today was fantastic. Obviously, I have nothing to compare it against, but I just thought the quality of projects today were really, really high. They were solving some like really big problems. Just basically a clear presentation um, when, when you're doing the, the demo, and obviously showing what you build, because that's the most interesting thing, and explaining how uh, the users can actually use it and what is the user flow as well. 975 attendees were here this weekend with us. And out of that, 650 were hackers from 51 different countries, and 30% of them were new to Web3, trying something for the very first time in this space. This is amazing. Congratulations to all of you. You made it. I really like the experience when you're sitting at a table at like 2 a.m., everyone's trying to get something to work, and then you just hear high fives going around. That's really exciting. Just to be around that energy of people like, yes, we did it. Yeah, at this hackathon, I would say um, like towards the end of last night, like 8 or 9 p.m., I was starting to feel a little bit tired and I was running up against some walls. Um, and then around 1 a.m., everything was kind of falling into place. I felt great, you know, I felt like super energized and I just kept pushing forward through the night and it all came together in the end. All right.